first technique that we're going to go over is called poor man's polished stone. This is going to be using our stomper. We're going to put some alcohol in our spritzer. This is plain bathroom alcohol, as you can see. 91% works better than 70, so check your medicine cabinets before you use the 70. The 91 is actually going to marble better, as you can see here on the finished product. So we've gone and we have filled our spritzer up with that alcohol straight. We've not cut it with anything. Um, we take our stomper, and what we're going to do is just take regular dye reinkers. There's nothing special about them. Bobby, be good. Be good. That's my, that's my helper here. See, she's getting a little full of herself. This is a, a Savia Blue that I'm using. This is a Soft Sage that I'm using. And we're also going to use um, a little Soft Peach. Now, any reinker will work. Um, I've got Marvy, I've got Memories, and I've also got Adirondack inks. Again, these are not alcohol inks. These are just regular dye reinkers that you would use to reink your pads. You do need glossy cardstock. Um, we do sell a very nice quality chrome coat glossy cardstock. You're going to be able to tell that I get my cards very, very wet. Um, they don't curl and you'll see that when we lay it out that they're not going to curl sometimes a inexpensive glossy cardstock will curl on you when you get it too wet that's not good for making cards um, another frequently asked question no no another frequently asked question is about photo paper you never ever want to use photo paper in your stamping projects it's a totally different animal the coating is an emulsion that emulsion reacts to ink, even the most child safe ink that you would use to stamp on there, and uh, it remains gummy and sticky and never dries. So you want to use a good quality um, glossy chrome coat cardstock, and we always have that in stock. So now we've got our stomper loaded with the three different colors of ink, and we need a Krylon pen. We're going to shake that up just a little bit. This is what's going to make the metallic. We're going to make blobs on that glossy cardstock. Now you notice that's a technical term. We're not going to go dot, dot, dot because that will leave spots on your cardstock and you don't want that. After you're done with the blobs, you're going to take your alcohol and you're going to spritz very heavily. Notice how wet that cardstock is getting. Now we're going to take the stomper, hence the term stomper and just start stomping it. This is spreading all that color around and it's catching the Krylon and moving that around as well. The Krylon reacts to the alcohol and just marbles. Now once I get this all covered with color, I'm going to lift it up so you can see it a little bit. And as it dries, and it dries quick, as it dries you'll notice that marbling even better. Okay, now I want you to look here at this you notice that Krylon running around like that? You can actually make it move if you want by doing this. Um, and basically you're just going to let that dry. It's going to take about 30 seconds to dry. Um, when we're done this segment then we'll um, show you how to use some of our stamps with it. But this is what the finished product is going to look like. So let me show you some landscape techniques next.